All right, that was Sleeper's correspondent, G-Fed. Uh, now that G-Fed's, you know, kind of made his introduction on the show, car, and he's off the show, you had to play nice on camera. Do you have anything to say about G-Fed now that he's gone? Just don't get comfortable being the second best facial hair on here. Just don't don't get comfortable, okay? Well, after that, this whole time, after we recorded with him, I was on Amazon, and I ordered some Moroccan facial oil. So... <laughs> When I have a beard by March next year, let's not act brand new. Was that you giving me credit for being the first best facial hair on the program? Yeah, yeah. You have wow. you have very you have very elite facial hair. Like you got to like a you don't have like that that Luke Bryan goofy ass neck beard. You got a nice full voluptuous beard. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. I hate when you shave it. <laughs> Uh, so we talked Louisville. That's where G Fed's going to be. He's going to be in Louisville. And, uh, I was going to ask a bunch of follow-up questions, but I feel like there's a non-zero chance. He just like sees Jack Harlow this weekend. Like we're going to get a video of him dapping up Jack Harlow. I think there's a really good chance that happens. Hopefully he can track down Sky Clark. That's our mission for him. But, uh, you wanted to talk about Louisville basketball. I'm not sure why, because it's Louisville basketball. So why don't you just take it away? We don't have a guest today. This is Carter Elliott's show from here. You picked all three topics. Uh, open the topic. What are we doing with Louisville basketball? Okay. Well, I'm crazy for this. I'm I'm admitting that before I get into this. I'm, I know I am. I do not think that Louisville basketball is going to be as bad as folks think. I truly don't. Just because... Yes, they, I don't even know. They probably won like five games last year. It was an absolute embarrassment. It was a, an abomination, whatever absolute buzzword you want to use for uh, a dumpster fire. That's what Louisville was last year. Louisville has the official sleepers point guard on their team now. Gregory, you know I love a redemption arc. Do I not? We both do. We both love redemption arcs, okay? We love Damani Bates' redemption arc. We love. We're, we're probably gonna find a way to somehow fall in love with Caleb Love's revenge villain arc. I might be buying in on Sky Clark actually being good for Louisville, and I, I I truly believe that. And I do think they have. They don't. Last year, I thought it was a complete talent issue. I don't think they had any talent whatsoever. This year, they got some guys that I think are can actually hoop a little bit. Uh, Dennis Evans is like a seven footer who's a shot blocker who's extremely raw, but like he's somebody they could use. Percy Miller, even though he dropped one of the most cringy media day picks of all time with the married to the game photo, I think he's a good player. Like I, I, I just think that Louisville will be better than folks think. And I hold a soft space in my heart, a little, little, little spot for Curtis Williams uh, played for my high school assistant coach and Rick Palmer Anytime Rick speaks highly of a player, I always pay attention and I always am like this this guy this kid's going to have a chance to be something. He said nothing but good things about Curtis and how he is and he's actually I talked to him about a week or so ago and asked how he was doing down there at Louisville. Said things were going great, said the coaches were loving him and uh he thinks they're going to be you know they got a chance to be a lot better than last year. So I'm kind of buying in on Louisville, whatever that might mean. And just so you don't overreact, I think my buying in on Louisville is like they win more than 10 games. Cause I think a lot of people are taking the under on Louisville winning 10 games this season. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay. Including, including you probably. One of the first names you mentioned is Hersey Miller. That's one of the first names you mentioned on why we should buy Louisville. Hersey Miller. I, I quickly just like made sure I wasn't wrong on the impact of Hersey Miller. Cause I don't know what you're thinking they're getting from Hersey Miller. This is a guy who averaged two points a game at Tennessee state and one point a game at Louisville. Can I, can I be uh, completely honest with you? <laughs> I mixed up my Miller kids. Okay. <laughs> I mixed up my Miller kids. I was commenting on the other Miller kid who was actually going to Houston okay. this season. I think Got my it. apologies on that. I will come straight up and say that. It's all good. But even besides that, <laughs> I'm buying I'm buying the Sky Clark dip. I'm buying the Curtis Williams. I'm buying Dennis Evans just being seven foot. There's one name in this group that I'm willing to buy. There's one. And I don't think it's going to be who you expect. I'm buying Dennis Evans. Uh, from what I have seen, yes, raw for sure. I also think like you can be raw and be a center on a college basketball team and it's okay. Like there's some some spots – for guys, like especially on a Louisville team that is just pretty low on talent, in my opinion, like it's okay if he's raw. 
They're not out to win a national title. They're not out to win the ACC. He's going to play even if he's raw. And I think while being raw, Dennis Evans is good enough that he can like block a ton of shots and get rebounds. So I, uh, I think he'll have an impact in a positive way. The swing here is sky. It just is. That's all it is. And I love Sky. You're never going to hear me say anything bad, too bad about Sky <laughs> Clark. Like I love, I genuinely love the kid. I'm rooting so hard for him. Um, he has a lot of, a, a lot to prove. I'll say that. Like he just, uh, it, it was a disaster at Illinois. And uh, I don't love the way things turned. Like I, I have been on record. I don't think it was managed the best way. I think like, even post Sky Clark leaving, I think they mismanaged the guy that was replacing Sky Clark and now he's gone. So like, I, I don't know who to blame and I'm not really going to point fingers at anyone. I don't think it was Underwood's fault. I don't think it was entirely Sky's fault. Illinois fans might disagree with me, but the point is it was an object disaster. Like I'm sure Sky would tell you that himself. And now great rebirth, second chance. Awesome. On a team that needs you and is going to give you the keys. I'm in, I'm in like on the theory of that. It's just like, can you really look the camera in the eyes with confidence and say, you think Sky Clark's performance individually is going to go really well this year for Louisville? Yeah. Like, what does that look like? What do you think the numbers are? Cause I want to buy this. I'm just like, I feel hesitant. It's like, it doesn't it feel like Curbelo again. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah. But I, I don't think anyone can be put on the Andre Curbelo mindset level. That kid's absolutely different. Sky's pretty different too. Sky's different, but I don't think anyone. I think Corbello's just like it's 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 he's on his own tier. He's he's on the Purdue tier of Big Ten. If you want to put that on the okay. on, on on the scale for yourself, okay. Um, I, what his numbers look like? I will say, mm, I'll go on say side. I'll say twelve, four, three. I mean, I think that would, that would be a great year. I don't know that I think that's the safe side. Like, I really, if I was doing a safe projection for Sky, I would be like nine and three. Uh, like, if he gets, if he's 12, four and three, that's a great year. That's a great year. Um, like, what the biggest upside I could see for Sky? Like, is there a world where he's like 15 and six this year? Y- yes. Maybe. Maybe like a high end of outcomes, uh, but there's also like, we got to be honest, there's an outcome here where he's horrendous and there's an outcome here where he's not on Louisville in December. Like <laughs> it could happen. I don't want it to happen. Sky. I know this is going to make its way to you. I'm rooting for you. I love you. You're like one of my favorite players in the country. That's truth, but you have a lot to prove my friend. And you know, you have a lot to prove and uh, I'm not betting against you, but I am in TBD mode on saying it's going to work until I see it work. Cause I want to see something. So I don't know, but like outside of the problem more so is like outside of those two, I don't love what they have anyway. Right. Like one, like one of their key guys is in the, in Australia. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Was he really a key guy? I think he was going to be. It's over in Australia stinking it up which is probably not good that he was going to be one of their key guys. <laughs> Adju- what is it? Uh, addition by subtraction. Do you trust Kenny Payne though, too? Like I, there is a way I could look at this roster and be like, if I, if I bought the coach, I'd be like, Oh, he could overachieve with that group. There's no way Kenny Payne can overachieve with this group. I I want to buy Kenny Payne. I do. Cause he, I don't know. Like, what is he supposed to do? I know this team is the team construction is partly his fault, but actually like, what was he supposed to do? So I think a couple things. Do you think like this was a great off season for Louisville? Like it's Louisville, man. Like this is not some poverty. It's Louisville. It was Sky Clark and Dennis Evans, the best case scenario for Louisville. Yeah, I guess when you put it like that, I mean, but really hard to grab a player when you won five games last year, really hard. Sure. But if Kenny Payne had anything to him, you think he gets it? You think he does it? It's just not that hard to rebuild Louisville. You're at Louisville. Like if you can actually coach, if you can be the guy, I think like losing four games and then Sky Clark and Dennis Evans being your biggest additions is a little scary. Yeah, Dennis um, Evans is a five star though. Yeah, who had committed to Minnesota. <laughs> that's that, that's very true. Sorry, <laughs> I just Sorry uh, like it. I think there's some things to concern you if uh, he's choosing to play for Ben Johnson and you had alternative options. Um, 
I don't know, man. Like, I just I doesn't everybody want Kenny Payne out no matter what? So it's like unless they like actually are a bubble team this year, he's gone. Oh, they got they got Brandon Huntley Hatfield too. I actually like him. Yeah, he wasn't good last year though. Yeah, Tyler Johnson was actually pretty. They got some okay. Some of the freshmen aren't too bad though. Like Tyler Johnson was, I actually like Caleb Glenn was okay for Lalu. I mean, there's. I think we're. Went. I think we're coopering right now. What about Trey White? How you feel about Trey White? I don't feel about Trey White. You don't? No. What about Aiden? What about Aiden McCool? Oh, I trust me. I was already on that. I almost sent that to you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm willing to wait and see, but I I think you're coopering right now. I think I need the fine. season. I need the season to come, so I'm not dipping into Louisville roster construction. How about that? Yeah, this is a dicey moment. Let's just move 